In the last video, I had experimented with the Google Colab Notebook of Stable Diffusion 2.0 and compared the results with Stable Diffusion 1.5. And it was quite clear that 1.5 had the better results with the same set of prompts. But after poking around the internet I realized there was something which I didn't consider. Which was, negative prompts. I was eating lunch and watching YouTube while this popped into my feed. After watching it, I realized that I hadn't explored the full potential of the new model. So I decided to make a revised experiment and this time, we will consider negative prompts. Moreover, I had mostly included non-living things in my last prompt experiment. This time, I will include a portrait of a human being in every prompt, as the model would have been trained on a lot of photographs. So we will try to play to its strengths. The same negative prompts will be used for stable diffusion 1.5 as well so that there isn't any bias. So let's whip up the notebook. And as usual, we will specify the model to SDWA2-0 and disable the Xaformes flag. While we are waiting for the models to load, let's open up Notepad. So these are the prompts which we will use this time around. And this is the negative prompt we will use. It's common for all the prompts here. As we are going to mostly generate people this time. So let's go back to our notebook. Scroll up and memorize the username and password for our Gradio server. Then open the Gradio link and we have our user interface. Down here is the field for entering the negative prompt. So before starting I have to say I got this negative prompt from this GitHub repo. It was at the bottom here in the readme page. I will link it in the description. Moreover I am skipping the generation times so that you can see the results immediately. So let's start with the first one. A portrait of a man with black hair and brown eyes wearing a suit. Yeah so on generating we can see a really good result. He definitely has black hair but his eyes are black also. Maybe very dark brown not sure. Anyway it's a very realistic looking result with good lighting and shadows. Let's check up on the result of 1.5. Really good here too. I would say it is even on this one. The 1.5 model has provided a full body portrait which features more but the 2.0 model result is much more dynamic and seems to convey a pensive emotion. Now the second one. A portrait of a woman with red hair and blue eyes wearing a suit. Overall decent, she looks like a Marvel character illustration. Let's check up on the 1.5 result. Phew the 1.5 result is really good. It looks much more realistic. But the 2.0 wins over in detail for instance the ears are blurred in the 1.5 but the ears here are much more precise. And she is wearing earrings as well. It's the finer details which are more emphasized on in the 2.0 model. So let's move on to the third one. A portrait of a man with red hair and green eyes wearing a t-shirt and jeans. Overall very realistic, and the lighting and smiling emotion is great. Checking the 1.5 result it is more moody looking but a full body portrait gets plus points. The lighting here isn't so great either. The 2.0 result definitely looks more polished. Moving on to the fourth one. 
a portrait of a woman with blonde hair and blue eyes wearing a t-shirt and jeans. So the 2.0 result looks great. Let's match it up with the 1.5 result. It looks great as well but does not seem to be having a t-shirt that clearly. But the characteristics are reflected well with blonde hair and blue eyes. Going back to the 2.0 result we can see emotion is much better reflected here. Also it is clear that she is wearing a t-shirt. In fact, the letters on the t-shirt seem to be unique as well and evenly spaced. Okay so that's about it with the stable diffusion 2.0 model with negative prompts. So far both the models are pretty much evenly matched after using the negative prompts, which seems to be the secret ingredient in the new 2.0 model. While the 1.5 model showed more full body portraits, the 2.0 results were more dynamic and expressed more emotion with better lighting. Hope you understood the difference in the results after the inclusion of negative prompts. So that's all for now. Have a good day.